Hello and welcome to another Raggy's Beers, Wines and Spirits review. It's Friday. Oh, isn't that good? It's a good feeling, isn't it? It's a fucking brilliant feeling to me. So today, I'm going to be reviewing this fella. Um, from Zest Brewery, otherwise known as Oldshaw Brewery. Uh, they do a, a pancreas beer. Um, I got both of these from adventurebeer.com which if you've know if you've listened to me before it's a local company that I actually go visiting all these breweries and local breweries and deliver locally as well and uh, for people in Nottinghamshire all of Nottinghamshire ooh, it's a great thing ooh, we had a little bit of a gusher bloody oh hell I didn't realize that was going to happen so firecracker it kind of lived up to the name there Zest Firecracker, oh, good aromas, uh, is a warming and sumptuous, crackingly powerful dynamite. Zest life to the full. It's bloody dynamite and powerful, all right. <sighs> bloody hell. That's not out of date, is it? No. no. October's date. So, kind of lives up to the name. I've got a, a rush of tropical aroma then, and then it seems to have died down a bit. Whilst I let the uh, glass sort itself out, um, I'll drink from the can. I normally don't drink from the can because I prefer to drink straight from the from a glass, as you do. So yeah, Friday afternoon, my last Friday at the workplace I'm at at the moment. Ho oh, oh, ho oh. ho. Um, and uh, tonight I'm going to try and do some work tonight. Obviously doing the beer reviews and that. And um, I've got a ginger wine brew and a rhubarb beer to um, drain out, put into barrels. I'll put them both into barrels. And then I'll wash bottles out and put the rhubarb beer into bottles, um, probably tonight as well, you know, to, if I can get to the sink, because the wife's hogging the sink at the moment. So yeah, first beer from this brewery. Um, let me check their beers out. Shop, here we go. So whilst it goes down a bit, there we go. Nationwide delivery, £6.29, or free for orders over 40 quid. That's decent, isn't it? You know, um, a special occasion amper for 17 quid. That's six different bottles, looks like. It's like a bottle of Grant's whiskey and that. We've got chutneys, a craft beer box, looks like there's two in there, 13 quid. Heavenly Blonde is one of theirs. Uh, it's a blonde ale. 10 litre bag in a box, 30 quid. 36 pints for 50 quid. That's not bad for 50 quid when you think about it. Uh, the only problem is, because it's a cask, you would have to be drinking that somewhat quick. Newton's drop is a best bit of 4.1% what they do. Um, this is good, it's given me a chance for this to settle down and I can drink from the glass, which I pref much prefer to do. Atomic IPA is an intense pale ale at 5%. Um, yeah. Blonde Bombshell, a 4.3% blonde ale. Mosaic Blonde, another 4.3% Blonde Ale. Break Free, a 4.4% Pilsner Style Beer. This fella, Firecracker, 5%. St Pancras Beer, I did get that one right. 4.6% for a 330ml bottle, £2.50 for the bottle. Bugsa Zot Double, Dubel. 7.5% is obviously a Belgian double beer. Trappist or Rochefort, Rockfort, if that's how you pronounce it. And they obviously do some other beers as well that aren't theirs. Belgian beers. Castile Rouge, 
an 8% Belgian fruit beer. Mm. So there's some interesting beers, about a fiver for some of these beers. They even sell Stella Artois and wines. So, interesting, you know, if you want to visit the brewery, zestbrewery.co.uk. And here we go, I can finally um, put the can there. And yeah, busy night tonight. Um, I want to get the wine barrelled up, get the beer barrelled up, and generally do a bit of some bobs. The wife's busy doing cake, so um, I need to get finish off Instagramming. I do love Instagram, it's such delightful. The funny thing is I ain't got many followers because I really can't be asked to spend too long posting rubbish on this. Some people go to town, but so I don't so warming really warming this is it's uh, like I say the aroma I got a tropical burst when it first came out well when it first spewed out and uh, get a more of a tr traditional feel to it now so it's red slightly hazy um, is it unfiltered it doesn't say but as you know these days, a lot of beers are unfiltered to keep the taste in. And it's not an issue, you know, it shouldn't be an issue with anybody um, if, if, if it is easy. A bit cooler in here today, 26 degrees in here today, so I'm not sweating my bejesus off. Last three days in this job at the moment, and then the move. And obviously... Uh, you never quite know. So I'm hoping that it's the job. I'm hoping it is. But we'll see. Um, can't be any worse than the last year. I don't think anybody, anything could be as any worse as the last year. Oh. Looking forward to doing projects this winter. So we've got a gazebo outside, what we've got the hot tub in. And it's three by three metres. Well, we don't need the hot tub room to be three by three. We can probably get away with 2.5. So it's just as long as you can walk around, because obviously you've got the cover that you've got to um, clamp down. So that's that's a thing that we've got to think about. Um, and I'm going to build it, build shelves in, put lighting in, uh, French doors create a walkway between, um, a decking walkway in between um, and probably um, some of the grass, well, what, from the way I've done it, there's going to be a, a, a seating area next to, the, next to the side of it, which would be great because um, we haven't lost, at the moment we've lost quite an area of the garden because it's so big, but doing it the way I'm thinking of doing it, it's going to be an interesting job. Still going to cost me about 400 quid, mind you. And well, if you're an holiday in France, you must be thinking, Jesus Christ, I've come to France thinking I'm going to get away with no bloody lockdowns and that. You know, you come back, two weeks isolation. You know, you really feel for people, you know. Um, our holiday's coming in October and we just don't think we're going to be able to go. But we can't do anything until the travel agency cancelled the holiday. And then I've had they refund us, or we move it to next year. But, and there's the thing. Are you even going to get a bloody holiday next year with all this shit that's going off? It's like you're just going to have to put all of these on, on a hi hiat hiatus. Hiatus. Yeah, whatever. Uh, you know leave the holidays for a bit longer just that British holidays mm. nice strength to this um, I'm struggling to pick out the flavours if I'm being honest very nice um, pub beer in my opinion a nice traditional beer let's see if I can start picking out some as I'm yakking I'm not, I'm not picking out the flavours Nine minutes. I'll 
this is very malty. I'm just reading the back of it. I mean, very nice uh, can to be fair. Very interesting can. The strength does hit you well, you know. It just says it's warming and sumptuous. I'm not getting any, any hints off the internet either. So it's, bre it's a brewery based in Grantham. So not too far away. About half an hour drive for me. Not far away from where I'm work, going to be working soon when I start when I do my uh, Newark side of the things. Let's see what it says on on Untapped. It's got a rating of three point six out of five on Untapped. Twenty one. Someone's put smells and tastes like cider. Like not a fan. It doesn't taste like cider at all. For me, a very malty beer. Um, I don't understand this untapped side. They post can pictures and that's it. Interesting spicy red. I'll go along with the spicy factor. So it says a slightly spicy with a subtle heat. It's definitely got warming. <sighs> Your belly's getting warmed up a tree. Definitely got some some warmth to it. Spicy, warm, malty. Um, there's a bit of hops there. There certainly was on the aroma, the initial aroma, like a tropical hop. But and then it seemed to it seemed to die out. But the main thing is, does it taste good? Yes, it tastes good. It's that warming factor does warm the belly up. God knows what's in it to warm your belly up, but it's uh, certainly got that factor to it. Oh. So yeah, Friday night. I'm not going to have too many of these bevies tonight. I'm certainly going to have to keep off the flipping whiskies. I had another load of, I had another glass of, a short, small glass of whiskey last night. And uh, after and after a certain time, I can't remember a fuck what I did. Um, it does seem to be getting like that a bit more often. Is that dementia, do you reckon? It's an early sign of dementia that you ain't got a clue what you've done. Or it's just the beer factor. It must be the beer factor. Although, sometimes I put it down to the fact that, you know, over these last, certainly this last year, maybe even a bit longer than a year, really, I've had that much going through my brain. I've been thinking that much. My brain's like, okay, now switch off. Try, you know, keep, and then when, when the when the uh, the alcohol s slows things down, then the brain is like, right, that's it, off. And it's a good thing, really. Could you imagine if you had switches on on in your brain? Uh, you just do something. You go, tch, tch. Right, that's fuck it mode and uh, tch, tch. Right, not listening mode. Oh God! Whoever invents that is going to be brilliant. No stress. Oh. I've always looked at. I've always uh, wondered about doing meditation and yoga and all that, and uh, seeing you know, and as, you know, because it's all a battle with your mind, and most of life is just a battle with yourself. You are your own worst enemy. I'm certainly my own worst enemy. I know that. So. Kind of a bit of a twang to it now, especially when you drink quite a bit.
good alcohol at the end. You know, it tastes more than 5% to me. Um, so, my first beer from Zest Brewery. I mean, I've had one from Aldershaw, but this is from Zest. Um, yeah, um, obviously it was a bit of a gusher. Spewed out the can at first. Took a while for that head to go down. I didn't drop the can either, so just so you know. Um, got a burst of aroma. And then when I poured it into the glass, the, the aroma seemed to just die out. Um, but overall, that warmth from it and that but the spiciness and that it was a very nice beer. Uh, well worth well worth uh, another sample at some stage. And uh, yeah, I got this from adventurebeer.com, so you've got two options. You can either get it from Zest or Adventure Beer, whichever way. Uh, you know, both companies. Um, the main company, the original company, will make their share anyway. So, yeah. Decent beer, loved it. Uh, good strength and the warm factor. Bloody hell. Um, out of five, then. Yeah, it not bad at all. Um, I thought it was more of a traditional beer when I first started drinking it, but now it uh, puts fire in your belly um, and uh, kind of lives up to the name, doesn't it? Firecracker. Bloody hell. Out of five, then. For me, 4.1 out of five. Yes, a jolly decent show. And that's it from this beer review. Um, I feel battered after that. It's only been one beer. Can't be drinking no more tonight. I need to, I've got to get work done tonight. I can't be sitting around doing fuck all. And that's it from this behaviour. As always, thanks for watching. Thank you for subscribing. And I will try to stop swearing. It's naughty. It's really bad. I do apologise. Yes. From the bottom of my heart and the heart of my bottom. Cheers.